Hi, I'm Conrad Fisher, and this is Routine Miracles. And we are here to discuss advances in rheumatology. Now, rheumatology means basically joint diseases and uh, autoimmune diseases like lupus. It's interesting about rheumatology. The volume of data, information, what we understand about the immune system is exploding. But in the subject of rheumatoid arthritis, a very, very, very challenging, difficult disease that misshapens the hands and the joints, leads you to be incapacitated. Formerly, all we had was some aspirin and steroids, and the steroids would control the immune systems. The steroids would control the acute inflammation. But at the same time, the steroids were loaded with terrible adverse effects. They'd make the bones thin and osteoporosis. They could give cataracts in the long term. They can cause vertebral fractures. So the, the terrible, terrible double-edged sword of the steroids is that they would control your immune system. At the same time, they would also destroy the very bones that you're trying to protect the joint in. Until just now. A series of medications called tumor necrosis factor inhibitors, TNF. And we have constructed a monoclonal antibody, an antibody against a single antigen, a single receptor, and stop the inflammation. Now, we are here with Ms. Doris Frost. Now, tell me what it was like when you first got diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis in 1993. I couldn't even walk three feet. I was in so much pain. My legs were like frozen. I didn't know what was wrong. So one day my son brought me to downstate and slowly but surely, you know, they would uh, prescribe certain medicines for me. But it wasn't until five years ago that I came across a medicine that really helped. And it was called Yamira. Yamira is a manufacturer's name for adalimumab. MAB means monoclonal antibody. And one of the things that's very important here to say is that we're not connected with drug companies in any way. What happened when you took this drug, the, t the tumor necrosis factor inhibitor, this adalimumab, Umera? What happened after you took that? I noticed a few days later, you know, I mean, wow, I feel different. You know, I was able to move a little more freely. I didn't have the pain like I was having, and I was able to move. That was like five years ago. I remember some things that you said to me about how what changed in, in uh, your prayer life. After, oh, yeah. prayer and medicine goes together. Mm -hmm. And I realized that a lot of these medicines they have today, they are here to help people, you see. But you got to take advantage of it. I am mm. so with you. Mm -hmm. Because I remember one of the things that you told me about is that after you started using this new medication, mm -hmm. not only we able to move, mm -hmm. but you said that the content of what you prayed for changed. Changed. I couldn't concentrate on, on, on prayer like I wanted to because I had pain. So what you pray for has changed. It's changed, and that's the truth. Now, I understand that before the adalimumab, the Umera, this new medication, which has only been out about six years. Yes. You got it right, you know, when, it came right out. when it came out. Your story is so important. Because it says for almost 10 years, mm -hmm. you're bound into your house, yes. couldn't move, in pain, mm -hmm. and your life was essentially consumed by prayers to have your pain, pain relieved. Right. Uh, but now, you throw away your antidepressants, mm -hmm. you can change the entire content of your prayer, and it changes your whole... Attitude. Exactly. Even my kids today, they say, Ma, slow down. Wow, Ma, you know. Well, oh, oh, that yeah. is such a change yeah. to have rheumatoid so arthritis, and that. after 15 years of rheumatoid arthritis, yes. to be more active than the other 65-year-old yes. ladies. It's wonderful. This is exactly what this book is about. Okay, then.